Morning YouTube. Well, downtown Dayton continues to prove how great it really is. Look at this right here. Windows busted out on the sides of the window here. Yet they tell us how great downtown is, but it's still the same There's dump that we remember it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Plus, look right here, Dayton. The bricks right here are falling apart, and yet they keep telling us how great downtown is. It's still the same dump that we remember it being 20 and 30 years ago. Dayton sucks. Day yep, that's right. Dayton sucks. And you know, you have these housing developers like Charles Sims who tell us, oh, there's downtown is thriving, but yet the guy lives in the suburbs. But here's your thriving downtown for you people. Buildings falling apart. <laughs> yeah, look at that right there, YouTube. The foundation's falling apart. This dump, it's vacant. Right here, yep, falling apart. Yet they keep telling us all how great downtown is. This building's vacant, busted out windows. I like that guy said back there, Dayton sucks. Yeah, look at this right here busted out windows and this building right next to it this is also vacant right here at the corner of of South Main and and approaching approaching Fifth Street right here so yeah keep telling us how great downtown is because the proof is in the pudding that it is not great 211 this is vacant right here. You can see how they kind of mask the shamefulness of trying to cover it up. And you see how the boards are a vacant construction zone. Yeah, right. See how they mask the shamefulness of it. 211 managed by, you know, by nobody. So it looks like nobody may not even own this piece of crap anymore. Used to be some radio stations here, but I do not think that is the case anymore. But yeah, Here's this dump right here. So yeah, keep telling us how great, how great downtown Dayton really is right here. Still this crap hole that you always remember being, there's a security place right here. I don't know if they're still open or not, but. This used to be a college bookstore right here. I do not know if it is still open or not, but Victory Project, I don't know if that's a school, but Dayton Chess Club, they look like there's really nobody here, so I guess a place for people to play chess, I guess. I don't really know how much activity they get. Yeah, here's the one of the textbook places. They used to have a couple other places, but apparently not anymore. A lot of the stuff is older stuff anyways. They probably deal a lot on eBay. They're closed today. Act 1 costumes right here. Barber College right here. So They've been here for a long time. And then the Spaghetti Warehouse. This is actually one business that has survived for quite a long time downtown. But apparently they're still holding up. But anyway, that's it for this one.